Hello. Let's talk about how to perform a maxillary anterior phrenectomy. You can see here's the frenum and here's the post-op. So there's a, there's a specific way to perform a maxillary anterior phrenectomy or any phrenectomy. I was in an oral surgery fellowship at Baylor Dental School for two years and this is the phrenectomy that I was taught by Dr. Cosentino who was an instructor in the the oral surgery department. You can see the frenum here, so painless and profound. Local anesthesia is always an imperative part of any dental procedure. You don't want the patient to feel the injection or certainly to feel the procedure. All right, these are curved hemostats and you place one on the lower part of the frenum like this then you connect the second one on the upper part of the frenum like this and the tips of the hemostats touch each other. You don't want to go in and just cut the frenum or it might grow back and it won't be a clean incision. So this perfectly guides you. Keep the tip of the Bard Parker, this is the 15 Bard Parker, on the hemostat. This is the 15 Bard Parker, this is the curved hemostat. So keep the Bard Parker on the hemostat until you get to the tip of the hemostat. Then come back with the lower hemostat, keep the Bard Parker touching the hemostat until it connects to your initial cut. So you're going to remove this piece, which is the frenum, and then clean up any of the tags. There's just little, little tags that are remaining. Then you're going to make a V in this attached gingiva, keratinized gingiva, between the teeth. Cut, make a deep cut, V cut, between the central incisors. Then I'm suturing this with 4-0 plain gut suture. Now this attached gingiva is not going to pull together, but you want to go ahead and place a suture there just to have a little hemostasis. This is a fabulous patient. She's only about 10 or 11 years old and was just a real trooper. She didn't blink. Now when I'm suturing, the first tie is away from me and especially if it's 4-0 suture, I'll go one, two, three, pull, and then one, to, one toward me pull, and then another one away from me pull. Now, many times I'll do three wraps on the first pull, or the first go, just because it keeps the suture from unraveling when you're pulling it. You don't want to pull it and then it loosens. You want to keep it tight. So see, I'm gonna go, one, two, three. If it's 3-0, sometimes just one, two will work. But with 4-0, I like to go one, two, three, then one toward me, then one away. Now, you can pull the parts together in the unattached to the unkeratinized gingiva. So you can actually connect the flap in the unattached gingiva. And you want the knot to be aligned properly. You don't want it bunched up. You want to pull it so that the knot is flat. And that's a good snug knot. You don't want it unraveling. Leave about two millimeters of, of a length when you cut. You don't want to cut it right at the knot or the knot will untie. So leave about two millimeters of length when you cut. Three away, one towards you, one away. There's a one away. And make that knot flat when you pull it. See, so we're leaving two to three millimeters of excess when we cut.
Catherine, that what you'll do is go get, go buy, Lovey could make one up, but go buy a McDonald's. Once you finish the milkshake, let that tea. Rinse it, tidy up. You want to suture tight so the patient doesn't have bleeding postoperatively. When you pull this, there's one way you pull and this part is flat on the incision. There's another way you pull and there's, it's bunched up, so you want that to be flat. You pull one towards you, then one away. Pull those tight. All right, so this suture will dissolve in four to seven days. All that you learned in that oral surgery fellowship. So I like to put some tape and a couple of two by two gauzes on the lip just as a pressure bandage. So this is after about three months of healing. You can see the, it's healed nicely. So that's the dental minute. These techniques work and they work every time. Are you ready to take your dentistry practice to the highest level possible? Of course you are. Subscribe right now to dentistrymasterclasses.com where you will get Dr. Cupper's greatest work and best cases. Here's what you're gonna get when you subscribe to dentistrymasterclasses.com. Incredible comprehensive cases not seen in Dental Minute videos. You will get an organized library of all the Dental Minute videos and Dentistry Masterclasses, comprehensive cases for study and reference, before and after photos of Dr. Cupper's fantastic restored cases. Cases. And all of this, I repeat, all of this is just $40 a month. This is something you cannot pass up. Subscribe right now to DentistryMasterclasses.com.